This WhatsApp AI agent answers any question about any document or any website. 100% automatic and it was built in just 7 minutes. Just turn any document or any website into a PDF, drag and drop it here and this WhatsApp AI agent instantly acquires all that knowledge. Then a user or customer sends a message like what's your refund policy and the WhatsApp agent replies with the exact information. Or what are your prices and here are the prices. It works 24 7 around the clock. Here's why WhatsApp beats every other platform. 98% of messages are read within three minutes. Over 2 billion people use it every day and everyone has it on their phone already. Today I'll show you step by step exactly how to set this up even if you've never built something like that before. I'll also show you how to get a WhatsApp number for free so you can test this WhatsApp AI agent out. If you want to skip the setup and get this AI agent running instantly, you can grab my pre-built AI automation template. It's available inside my AI automations and templates library where you get a growing collection of AI agents and automation. There you also find these other WhatsApp AI agents. You can get free access to this document that contains all the links and prompts we will be using for the setup by clicking the first link below this video. First, we go to this link nnn.io and this is the automation platform we'll be using. You can click on get started if you don't already have an account and then sign up for a 14 day free trial. Once you're logged in, you will see this overview. Here you click on create workflow and this is where the magic happens. And it's only going to be four modules and then our WhatsApp AI agent is set up. Now, before you click on add first step, we go to another platform because this is the secret hack to getting your WhatsApp agent set up very fast and with less technical overwhelm. You go to a platform called Twilio. You click on get started for free. You sign up for a free trial account then it will look like this. You have a few credits and you can test WhatsApp for free. You just go to messaging. You go to try out and send a WhatsApp message. Here you have already received a trial number. Here we click on open WhatsApp. In order for this to work, you need to first download WhatsApp to your computer. And this is done very easy here. So you go to this website web.whatsapp.com and there you can click on download WhatsApp to your computer or you could just test it on your phone if you want to, but I want to have it on my computer. Then I click on open WhatsApp Then it will open my WhatsApp software. And then I'll go back to Twilio here. I need to grab this code and I paste it into WhatsApp. Make sure it's in one line. Send the message. And now you see your Twilio sandbox is connected. That's just a testing environment that allows us to test and set up our WhatsApp agent. And now only need to go to sandbox settings and now go back to my workflow, click on add first step. And there we search for webhook. A webhook is just a way to connect different tools with each other. We will set this method to post because we send information. And then we grab this URL here, this webhook URL. And we paste it in here and we click save. And that's it. Now let's go back to the workflow. Listen for test event. And now if we send a message like, hello, how are you? It should send the message to this webhook. And you see this message was received. So now our WhatsApp testing environment is connected to our automation and we can keep building the rest of our AI agent. Let's click save. Next module we'll need is already the heart of our AI agent and we type in open AI and there we click on message and assistant. Here first you need to connect your open AI account, click on create credential and then we need the API key. So let's go back to my document because I've already prepared everything for you. Go to platform.openai.com, sign up for the account, then you can go here to settings, go to billing, add a few credits like $5 or something like that, but this will last you a long time with this agent because it's really, really cheap to use. And then go back to your dashboard. Then you go to assistance. First, let's give it a name. We call it smart WhatsApp agent. And there we can type in the instructions. Now I've already prepared this for you because the goal is to have a WhatsApp bot that answers any questions about any PDF or knowledge I've uploaded. And let's go back in here and I, you will see what I mean why this assistant feature is so powerful. We will select a very smart but also cheap model which is going to be GPT-40 mini. And then we activate file search. 
Now, this is where you can make your bot smart by adding files. Just drag and drop your files here, and then it learns all of that information. Now, I've already prepared a tool for you that allows you to convert any website or any text into PDFs, and then you can attach this as a knowledge file. So here, if I go to my website, automation templates, where you can get all the templates I'm building, and I want to turn an entire website into a knowledge file. So I type it in there, I click on convert, and then it's gonna be downloaded. And then I go to my bot here, click on upload, and then I just attach the file. I've also done the same process with my other offers I have, social media bot system, with my email system, with my other system here, all the products I have. You can feed it any information you want. It doesn't need to be products. It can be any websites or any PDFs, any documents you have. And then you click on attach. And then this will be turned into a database and a knowledge base for this bot. And now once it's complete, we click on create. Now let's go back. Here, we actually still need our API key, which I have forgotten to paste in because I was so excited to show you how to build this. So let's go back to settings, go to API keys, create a new secret key. I just call it demo. It doesn't matter what the name is. And I give it the date, select default project, create key. Copy that and we go back to our and then workflow, click on save. Perfect. Now from the list, we select our smart WhatsApp agent that we have just created. And then what we also wanted to give it, we want to give it a memory. So just click on simple memory and we click on define below. We give it a context window length. That's just the length of the conversation it should remember. So. And here as a key, I need to just select the WhatsApp ID from the phone number it sends the message to so it can store that information. Now I want to test it again with a real message that would require it to retrieve information from the uploaded PDF. So I just go in here, I click on this play button here and then I send another message. Okay, what AI agents do you have for social media in the automation templates? Now let's see what it gives me. Now, what is important is that WhatsApp has a character limit of 1,600 characters. And so, okay, it's within the limit and that's what I have specified here, right? Lots of um, instructions to keep the message below the limit, but still get all the details I need from the PDF. So that works. Next, you see here there are some special characters like the symbols. I don't want that. So we need to clean up the response before we send it back to WhatsApp. And to do this, I'm gonna use a code node which is just going to clean up clean up the response now i didn't program it myself i just asked ChatGPT to give this to me so here copy that paste it in here click execute step and there we have a cleaned up output and now we can send it back to whatsapp so here we're going to now attach a twilio node click on send sms or WhatsApp, and then we need to uh, click on create new credential account SID. Now you get this from going to your account dashboard, scrolling to the bottom, and here you see account SID. And you just paste this in here, and then now we also need the authentication token. Paste it in here. Click save. Now it's connected. Now the resource should be SMS, operation is sent. Now the from message, we go on here. From is here like where do i get this message from it's actually from this one so the um, test whatsapp number i got from twilio and to extract it from that i'm just going to use this paste it in here now here i need to actually rename this to webhook and now you see this extracts the the raw phone number from it from that so it just removes the whatsapp from that now the two number is just back to the user and this is this WhatsApp ID here. Now we need to activate send to WhatsApp and now the message is just a response from the clean up function. Now if I click execute step, it should send back the answer to me. Yeah, it lists all the AI agent or automations for social media from my automation templates. Perfect, so this works, click save. With that, the testing setup is almost complete. Let's go back to our webhook. Let's switch to production URL. Go here, copy this production URL webhook. Go back to Twilio. Now we want to go back to messaging, try out, send WhatsApp. And we will just replace our testing webhook here in some sandbox settings with the production webhook. Then we click on save. 
Now we can go back here, switch this to active. Now let's do another quick test. So I will ask it a different question about a different product. We have uploaded the website for it. So I can say, okay, what is email turbo? And yes, it replies it correctly. Email Turbo is a cohesive system that is designed to help users create effective passive emails quickly with AI. This is what it's about. This is the price and that's actually correct because that's the website I have turned into a PDF and attached to my assistant. So the response is good. Now I can ask it also, okay, what, what is in email turbo? Like what am I getting when I buy the product? Yeah, it lists these out. Launching multi the condensation tips, GPT guidance. Okay, that's good. That's, that's part of it. That's great. Now I, let's ask it a question that I haven't uploaded as a PDF. So what is video turbo, <laughs> right? So there's no product that exists. I have no PDF that I've attached to my assistant. Yes, you see, please contact support at, and then you just go here into the instructions. There's a placeholder where you can type in your email address and then it will forward. You may have questions that this WhatsApp agent could not answer or we haven't uploaded the PDFs or the knowledge files to the support team or to you. And then you can take the conversation from there. And with that, the WhatsApp agent is complete. It's working, it's tested. However, it's still in testing mode because we are still in the testing mode on Twilio on the trial account. So if you want to get this production ready and actually implement it for yourself or for your business with a real phone number, just check out my AI automation templates subscription library where I show you exactly how to get this production ready. So you can put the phone number on your website and then you can just feed your WhatsApp agent with any document, any information you want, and then it can take care of that part of your business. Now let's quickly talk about the costs of this WhatsApp agent. Here we have um, different volumes like sessions. One session should be like the user contacting the WhatsApp agent and getting a response and ending the conversation. Like usually that's like five interactions, five back and forth messages. Now we use GPT-4 mini in our assistant to generate the replies, retrieve the information from the knowledge base. And that is really, really cheap. So that costs us just for one message here, um, only 0.3 cents. And that's why it's so cheap. So even for a hundred sessions, which is like five back, 500 back and forth messages, only $1 and 50 cents. Now Twilio messaging um, that costs us per message is around 0.5 cents. So for a hundred message, for a hundred sessions, that's like 500 back and forth messages, um, that's around $5. Twilio phone number, if you get it production ready, that's only $1.15 per month. And it doesn't matter how many sessions you have. Now the cost per session in that case, like per one user or customer getting a response and ending the chat is just like barely eight cents. And compare that to how much cost this could save you, right? Which we will deal, up, deal in, a, in a second now. Now the total monthly cost for 100 sessions, like 100 customers or users getting their responses fully automated is just um, yeah, $7.69. And then yeah, we have 300 sessions, 600 sessions, even for a thousand sessions, like that's a thousand users, customers, visitors of your website, whatever, having questions about your products, about your website, about your services, or uh, customer support questions, whatever. And you can add all of that into the knowledge base so that the WhatsApp agent can answer all of them. And that's just $66 to, to totally handle it off to the WhatsApp agent. And now let's talk about the more interesting part, like how many, how many hours and how many uh, dollars will this save you? Like even just for 100 sessions, if we assume here, like one human agent, like one human customer support agent takes like 50 to 20 minutes per session to find information, respond back and until the user is happy and has the information, uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, right? Now the bot, right, can do this just in a few seconds and compare that to 100 sessions. And we are easily at like almost 30 hours saved per month. And for a thousand sessions, we almost 300 hours saved per month. And if we Assume, okay, you pay your customers a per person, $25 an hour, and they usually takes them 30 hours to answer 100 sessions or 100 customer questions. This could save you over $700 or $7,000 a month if you have 1,000 sessions a month or 1,000 interaction with customers a month. And there you see the net savings, right? If you just deduct the costs from from your savings and then you're still over 7,000 or over 14,000 if you have 200 sessions, 2,000 sessions a month. 
And that's why even though the setup is so simple, we have one, two, three, four modules connected. It's so insanely profitable and lucrative to use this for yourself or to set this up for others, other businesses. If you want to see more videos like this, where I show you how to build these highly effective AI powered systems, even without any coding knowledge, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos.